Good morning from Jerusalem. This time I'm taking you to non-touristic uh, sites of uh, the city. We will start from a very famous uh, coffee place. It's called Tumol Shilshom. I wanted to remember it because it's up there. They have two amazing rooms and you will be able to understand how people used to live in the 19th century and the coffee and the food is absolutely lovely, then it can be a very good idea. Um, from 1860, the Jews Christ and Christians, and even Muslims, started to go out of the walls of the city. And the city was too crowded, a lot of pollution, a surging and uh, running in the street, you know, not, so, not something uh, uh, nice to uh, live in. And they started to build their um, neighborhoods outside it. Then, for example, this is now. Oh, look at the kitty! Oh, look, kitty! Let me take a picture of the kitty! Oh, it's so beautiful! Then, people used to live in the uh, courtyard. The houses were the walls. For example, here you can see a sukkah, temporary booth. According to the Feast of Sukkot, they're just supposed to live in the sukkah and to eat there and even to sleep there for seven days. And this is uh, the last few days of Sukkot. You can see another one. And you can see that it's a laundry day because people live here. And let me take you out to show you the main street. The main street today is very, it's quite well known in, in uh, uh, Jerusalem, but the alleys, alas, then let me take you through there. And you must see that, uh, although it's really early morning, Friday morning, uh, people are still sleeping in bed. It's um, more crowded than the street that I actually took you. Here it is. Then, where we are, beautiful place to mingle as well. But we started the tour from Tumon Shilshom. Um, let me look for the street sign. I know that it's somewhere there in English as well. Let me look for it. Ah. Mahalat Shiva. It's the third, the third um, Jewish neighborhood outside the walls, established in 1869. Uh, and seven people actually found it. Then it's called by that. Nachalan, let's see. Oh, um, kind of a neighborhood, Shiva 7. Then we enter through there. And let's go back to the less touristic side. Then what you saw is that the, the, the house at the front of the house and the facade of the houses were kind of a wall and there were uh, small entrances to the city that you could block from wild animals and bad people. In every neighborhood you will find a um, synagogue and though it's closed you can see a little bit now oh, the sun is in our eyes. Oh, maybe from the other side. Hello, two more kitties. Oh, look at that. Mm, can we see something from here? Nah, difficult, you can see me. Hello, me. Difficult to see it from there. Let's go to the other side. That is the sukkah of the synagogue. Mm, 
difficult to see. It's a very simple one, but a beautiful one. Jordanian restaurant and uh, F O Z. It's an um, evangelist organization of Jews, sorry, of Christians who love, who are Zionist in a way, friends of the Zionist. I love to walk here because of the you know, narrow and unknown alleys of Jerusalem. Ah, oh, look how beautiful it is! Center, the museum, the coffee place, the sukkah, as you can see here. It's a beautiful museum, I must say. Really beautiful museum. Oh, what can I say? Beautiful. We went hard. We went out to the uh, Cat Square. That's the uh, name that the local people gave to that square. And you can see here the Friends of Zion Museum. But it's such a beautiful place, anyhow. And there are so many things to see here. A museum that no one opened it. It was built by the right parties of uh, uh, Israel on top of um, um, a Muslim cemetery that we are going to see soon. Then, until now, no one opened it. Uh, politic is involved in every place here. That we are at the corner of Yoel Moshe Salomon. That's the main street. Remember the facade of Nachalativa. Uh, um, Nachalativa Street, or neighborhood, and Hillel Street, which goes to here and to there. Um, there's a lot of coffee places there, a lot of restaurants there too. And that's the goes to the center that lead to the center of the city to um, yeah, let's cross the street uh, leads to the city and to one of the must, uh, must visited market um, oh, I forgot the name of the market Ben Yehuda Machne Machne Yehuda remember Yehuda Judah it's a very well-known kosher market. Then um, look for it, especially at night time when it's empty. Then a lot of the pubs and the restaurants are open there, and a lot of young people, and we are young people, are visiting that place. Tolerance Museum is the name of that museum that was built on top of um, Muslim tombs. Tolerance. I like that name. 
it's like that for so many years and no one dared to open it. I didn't know uh, why I didn't look for uh, the real reason. Independence Garden is straight ahead and it will continue straight uh, at the junction of that street with Agron Street, I will reach the American Consulate. But I'm not sure that it will be, hmm, how should I say it, a nice idea or good idea to walk with that camera next to the consulate, unless I want uh, to meet the CIA there. Let me let me straight ahead. But the gardens are green and beautiful. Then if you want to barbecue, not a barbecue to eat or to rest, you can do it there. This is the part of the Muslim cemetery. You can see it there. You can see it now. You can see the some of the tombs. The cemetery was built on top of uh, uh, a Jewish area. And the most important part there is a um, water system uh, that led the water from um, Bethlehem Hebron through aqueducts and water from rain here into that beautiful pool. From that pool, let's call it Mamila Pool, uh, the water was led straight to the Jewish temple. Now we will find a way to enter I will show you how it looks like it's quite a big one and uh, it was used until the British came and they still use it in 1917 but they built a pipeline um, that brought the water from the area of Tel Aviv Petah Tikva and Rosh Ain straight to here that now no one uses it, but it's still beautiful to see. It's actually a memory of the temple from the time of King Herod. Mm -hmm. Oops, there's a group there. I don't want to. Don't want to disturb them. We're going through the ugly part of that area. Look at the dirt, the garbage. But this is the part of the city and uh, I don't want to delete it. Oh, it's so horrible. Thanks God you can, cannot smell it, but I don't know why they did it. The idea was that now they block the entrance to the pool and you will be able to see it from here. Let me... I don't know if you can see my Mila pool. The water reach from here to um, Jaffa Gate of today, Hazakaya Pools, and if I will lead you, if we will make, um, if we will actually have a tour together, uh, please remind me that, then I will go to, sh I can show you the other water system of Hazakaya, King Hazakaya, that from there, through an aqueduct and a bridge, straight to the um, to a Jewish temple. Hmm. You can see some of the Muslims' tombs that we are in a cemetery that was built around the water system of King Herod. You can see it a little bit. Almost fell. You can see here a little bit of it.
And look how, how impressive is that Muslim tomb. And in front of you, it's Vold of Astoria, which is the most expensive. And I was thinking a very impressive um, hotel as well. It used to be a Muslim hotel. Later on, it used to be the Radio of Israel. Uh, and then, as you can see, now it's serving as a beautiful, very expensive hotel. Let me show you where is the old city. And then we will say goodbye. Because I'm going to meet my wife and my child. We're going to have breakfast or brunch with friends in one of the tea places that my wife chose for us. It will be the first time that I will be there. Then I'm always happy to study uh, new places or to eat in new places. If you like that video, you can subscribe to my channel or if you want to support me a little bit, uh, go to the description of that video and you will see the link of buy me a coffee or the link for um, PayPal and you can do it through there. It's helped me a lot to continue doing those tools. I have more than 20,000 videos of it. Then uh, I will be happy. but. If you will subscribe my channel and uh, send it to all of your friends, I will be happy to be part of my family. Then, soon I will show you the walls of the city, but let me show you the facade of that beautiful hotel. And you can see the Arabic description on top of it. From here, you can see the walls of the city. This is Jaffa Gate. And from Jaffa Gate, you can actually visit all over the city. It's very close to the Jewish Quarter, to the Christian Quarter, Church of the Holy Sepulchre, not so far away from the Western Mall. And in front of you, a shopping mall, Mamila Shopping Mall. That was the border between Israel, here, and the old city was already part of Jordan that occupied the, uh, the West Bank and Jerusalem, the old city of Jerusalem. Well, thank you very much for being with me. Bye-bye.